Okay. So Madhu has asked a very interesting question that uh, usually when the patients have fully catheterization uh, for seven to ten days, after seven to ten days, some of the patients have sterile pyuria. So what should we do regarding that? So understand that for sterile pyuria, uh, after uh, seven to ten days of fully catheterization, if the patient is asymptomatic and doesn't have any issues, you don't need to do anything. Neither you don't need to change the fully catheter. Nor flush it, do nothing. Understand the why. The mechanism is what happens when the Foley's uh, catheter is there in the bladder. The bulb when the catheter tip irritates the uroepithelium, and it creates a little bit of inflammation and uh, um, shed some cells. So, because of the inflammation and the shedding of the cells, the leukocytes appear in the um, in the uh, for in the urine, which we report as pus cells or. Leukocytes like that, but it's sterile. It's it has nothing to do. It is not. It is not infected. But uh, so so if it is not infected, you don't need to do anything. It will be there because the mechanism you can't avoid it. It will always irritate the bladder epithelium. Secondly, um, uh, even if you now change the uh, catheter, again the same thing will happen. But if the patient is having any signs of infection. Like fever, or uh, uh, the patient is uh, uh, running um, um, uh, fever, or some signs of infection are there. Then you need to obviously change the catheter. Then you need to send culture, upgrade the antibiotics like that. But if it is a sterile pyuria, clinically no symptoms of infection, then you don't need to do nothing for that. So I hope this clarifies and makes sense. Do read more about it. Thank. You.